channel. Um, today we're going to do things a little different. I am going to be packing up the Kipling Kichiro. I believe that's what it's called. How to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. The Kipling Kichiro five different ways. So I'm going to call this Transition Tuesday <laughs> because I really love this bag. I love the way that it feels and I think that it's actually marketed as a lunch bag, but I feel like this could be used for so much more than just a lunch bag. So I'm gonna go over the features here and then I'm gonna pack it up the first way, which is going to be as your um, lunch or snack bag. So this is the Kipling Kichiro, Kichiro. I still have the tags on it. Um, in Dazzling Daisy, and it retails for $54. And here's my sweet little monkey, and my monkey's name is Monica. And let me see here, actually. So you have this um, removable straps here with the webbed um, strap, like how Kipling does what they're known for. It has the little Kipling on the metal here, which is beautiful. So let me go ahead and take this off here. Like I said, this is brand new. So you have your adjustable crossbody strap, which I love that for a lunch bag. I think the versatility of it is phenomenal. Again, you can use it for so many things. You have your grab handle, so if you don't want to carry it crossbody. And then you have your zipper, which is very smooth, and then you have your thermal lining. And, oh, I didn't even open it all the way. You have your thermal lining with your Kipling tag here. It's mesh, so you can see everything in the bag. And then on this side, you have your water bottle pocket. I mean, pocket, your water bottle elastic or whatever you wanna carry in there that you don't want tipping over. So that is, those are the features. And this line, this is lined here. So again, when you close it, it will be thermal all, all around. So you have a generous amount of space in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pack it up and then I will show you how I have it packed the first way. Okay, so the first way that I have this bag packed up is as a lunch bag or a snack bag. So I have this packed up. In here I have, like, I, see how you can see everything? I just think that's so phenomenal. So right on the top here I have an apple and next to that I have a granola bar and a fig bar. And then I have two little reusable containers from the Dollar Tree. And I would put probably like some Cheez-Its or goldfish or crackers and maybe some carrots or peppers or something in this one. And then next to that, I have a Cool Gear, again, from the Dollar Tree, um, little ice packet. And then in the back, again, from the Dollar Tree, not sponsored, um, I have a Sophia the First little snack container. And then behind that, I just have um, a couple paper towels. And then standing up here, so it doesn't tip over, even though it's leak proof, in this um, elastic here, I just have my Ella water bottle. And I believe this is a 14 ounce Ella water bottle. So you saw how I had that packed up as a lunch bag, you could also use that for, use this for a breast pump and baby bottles, um, bags, like if you were a working mom and you were pumping, you could put, literally you could put your breast pump in here and your little baggies of your breast milk or bottle, whatever, however you decide to store it and a ice pack and, a, and you would be good. Um, I, that is another way to carry it. I'm not going to demo that because I don't have a breast pump or bottles, but you could very easily, I mean, I remember pumping and you can 
fit a pump and bottles in there. So that's another way to do it. And it's really, it's really handy because you would be able to just wear this crossbody so you could be discreet and no one would even know that it was a pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up as a pool or a beach bag. And I will be right back to show you how I do that. Okay, so the next way I have this bag packed up, I have it packed up as a pool or a beach bag. So we'll open it up here and here is how I have it packed up. So on the top here, I have goggles, which if you're going to the beach, I mean, you may use them, you may not, I don't know. I have my portable fan because I get really hot <laughs> if I'm at the pool or the beach. Um, in here, I have my waterproof first aid kit. In the front here, I just have a Jujube Passy Pod and in it, I have a foldable brush and two of the teleties. I like the telly ties because they don't stay wet. So they're really great to have um, at the pool or the beach. So I have a portable charger and my cable for my phone. And my phone would be in here as well, but I'm obviously filming on it right now. So next I have my little card case that has my pool key in here. If I were to go to the pool. And then I have my sunglasses. I have my sunscreen. I have my um, fig bar snack in here, which I put it in this little container so that it wouldn't get crushed with all the other stuff going on in the, in the bag. I have a hand sanitizer. We need that everywhere we go now. And then again in here, I just have my water bottle, which is the 14 ounce water bottle because you want to stay hydrated while you're at the pool or the beach. So all of that fit in this bag and all you would have to do is just carry this bag crossbody and your towel and you're good to go. You would have all your little essentials that you need. So that is how I have it packed as a pool or a beach bag. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pack it up as like a quick purse trip out. Okay, so for this packing, I have it packed up as a quick trip out purse. Um, I left it unzipped so that I didn't have to keep zipping and unzipping to save time in the video. But how I have it packed here is, and again, I love that you can see everything in the bag. So I have a mask. I have in the front here, I have my Dagny Dover card case. Again, it has all my essential cards, very small and compact. I have my sunglasses. I have a chapstick. I have my car keys. I have a hand sanitizer. I have a pen. I have some anti-bac wipes. I have my um, little first aid kit. Again, I have that same snack. I have my water bottle in here. And then in the back, I have a little notebook. So you, when you're running around, you can either put your grocery list or write anything down that comes up while you're out that you need to remember. So that's how I have it packed up. And you could even do um, like if you have say a toddler or a potty training, you could even do a, um, like a pull up and a pack of wipes in here. It would have easily fit with everything that I have ooh, right here. It could have easily fit a pack of wipes and, you know, a diaper or a pull up. So that is how I have it packed up as a quick trip out. I'm now going to pack this up as a restaurant bag for you. Okay, so this next way that I have it packed up for you, I have it packed up as a restaurant or entertainment bag for going somewhere, like if we're going out to eat or if we're gonna be somewhere that, you know, the kids are gonna have to wait for a little bit. So I have, mostly it's for my, mostly it is for my younger two, but I will say that I have used some of these items with my older two as well. So I have this packed up like this. So we'll start from the back and work forward. So I have a play pack for the boys 
or my youngest really, um, but my 11 year old will use that. I have a book and I have a little pad of paper. And then in front of that, I have this like 31 pouch, which is great because it pops down and you can set it on the table and they can all share the like twistable crayons that I have in here. So that's really great. So my older two can um, be playing tic-tac-toe or they'll play. I have a travel, um, I have a travel trouble, which we will play. Oh, and I generally carry um, a pack of cards in here, but my husband and I were actually playing cards the other night. And so I grabbed a little, I grabbed those out of here um, or out of my previous um, entertainment bag. And then I have some Anabac wipes just to wipe the table down, some spray for hands. I have a snack. I actually usually have two. That way they're not filling, you know, filling up on something before they get their food, but it'll hold them over until their food gets there if we're that hungry. And then in this little bag, I just have um, some small silverware just in case. Uh, you would be surprised how many times we've gotten somewhere and they don't bring us silverware. So at least, you know, my two younger ones can eat because those are the two that get, you know, the most sick, uh, nauseous from not eating. So then I also have some, two silly straws in here because I can't stand paper straws. And a lot of, a lot of places are going to the paper straws or the biodegradable ones that like snap and then you can't suck anything out of the straw. So it's pointless or they just don't even give you a straw. So I always like to have that. And, um, but yeah, so that is what I carry in my entertainment bag. And I also, like I said, carry a pack of cards. So that is how I have it packed up. The next the, and last way that I have it for you is as a camera bag. Okay guys, the last and final way that I have this packed up is as a camera bag. And this is how I have it packed up. In here, I will take out first. This is just a little pouch to keep all the little necessities. I have my phone, uh, phone, my camera charger, the bad, and an extra battery in here. I have some um, lens wipes and a chamois. I have this little blower, and it blows the, you know, particles out of the lenses and crevices. And then I have all the little um, lens caps <clears throat> and components that I need for when we um, change our lenses. So I have that. And then I have my microphone. I have my actual camera with the smaller lens on it. And then over here in the side where I have that elastic. I just have our bigger lens up there so that it doesn't fall over. It's not, you know, wobbling around in the bag itself. So I like this. I like how I have it packed up. It's really comfortable to wear this way and everything stays neat and tidy. I have everything and it's much cuter than an actual camera bag. So there we have it. I really hope that um, you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if there's a different way how you use um, a thermal lunchbox or if you have this um, Kipling Kichiro, if you have it and you use it in other ways other than just as a lunchbox, I would really like to know how you use it. Or if you have any other ideas to pack, on how to pack it up, let me know. I'm always looking for a great idea and a new way to use, you know, an existing bag that I have. But this one, like I said, it has its tag still on it, but I'm getting ready to cut her off because she's a keeper. I love her. I think she's so pretty. I love the lily detail here. And I love like the fun camo background with all the different colors. And I, I really, I adore this fabric. I have my um, backpack that I've already shared with you guys has this same kind of um, fabric. So I think it's fantastic. 
Um, and I love the versatility of the crossbody with the D-ring. So stay, stick around a minute, getting ready to show you some on the body, how you can wear it and carry it. So if you like this video and want to see more, please like and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.